Welcome back fellow learners. In this video, we will start module 3. Before that, subscribe now for upcoming modules. And if you have not watched the previous modules, watch them first for a better understanding. Now, let's start module 3, it is divided into two sections. Module 3A, 29 CFR 1910 subpart Z. Module 3B, OSHA 1926 Subpart D At first, we will first discuss Module 3A, which is about 29 CFR 1910 Subpart Z, Health Hazards in Construction and Hazard Communication. The Hazard Communication Standard, HCS, informs workers and employers about various chemical hazards in the workplace and what protective measures they can take to prevent the adverse effects of such hazards. This section gives you a basic understanding of dealing with hazardous chemicals and how workers can prevent and protect themselves from chemical hazards. The module is comprised of the following two lessons. First, introduction to the hazard communication standard. Second, labels, MSDSs, symbols, hazards, and training. Let's memorize the essential key terms chemical, any element, compound, or mixture of elements and or compounds. Combustible, a material having a flashpoint of 100 degrees Fahrenheit or above. Flammable, a material having a flashpoint below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Hazcom, hazard communication standard. Inhalation, breathing in an airborne substance, including gases, fumes, mists, vapors, dust, or aerosols. Training, a course of study in which employees are instructed to identify and work safely with hazardous materials. Let's start with the first lesson, Introduction to the Hazard Communication Standard. The key points are Exposure means that an employee is subjected, as a condition of employment to a chemical that is a physical or health hazard, including potential, accidental or possible, exposure, Subjected regarding health hazards includes any entry route, inhalation, ingestion, skin contact, absorption, or injection. A hazard warning means any words, pictures, symbols, or combination thereof appearing on a label or other appropriate form of warning that conveys the specific physical and health hazards, including target organ effects of the chemicals in the containers. Immediate use means that the hazardous chemical will be controlled and used only by the person who transfers it from a labeled container and within the work shift in which it is transferred. Any hazardous material decanted, pumped from a primary to a secondary container, should have the labeling information transferred to the secondary container. Organic peroxide is any carbon-containing compound with two oxygen atoms joined together. Pyrophoric means a chemical will ignite spontaneously in air at a temperature of 130 degrees Fahrenheit 54.4 degrees Celsius or below. An unstable, reactive, chemical is one that, in its pure state or as produced or transported, will vigorously polymerize, decompose, condense, or become self-reactive under shock, pressure, or temperature conditions. A water-reactive chemical reacts with water to release a gas that is either flammable or presents a health hazard. In last, workers need and have the right to know about the hazards and identities of the chemicals they are exposed to when performing their tasks and duties. Now, look at the study questions. Let's move to the second lesson. Labels, MSDSs, Symbols, Hazards, and Training. The key points are All hazardous chemical containers must be labeled, as labels are considered the most immediate source of information about chemicals and their hazard potential. Many chemical manufacturers include safe handling procedures on labels, even so the employer must translate the information on the MSDS into an understandable format and convey the hazards associated with working with any hazardous materials in the facility before an employee is exposed to the hazard. Hazardous chemical manufacturers or importers must update MSDSs within three months of discovering new important information about chemical hazards. 
When working with materials labeled with a DOT hazard class shipping label, you should be aware that this represents a specific hazard, the materials MSDS provides information regarding particular hazards denoted by DOT labels. Employees must be trained before working with materials that represent a hazard. Water reactive materials react with water and can explode, furthermore, unstable, reactive materials can react or become self-reactive when exposed to pressure, temperature, or shock. Monitor yourself and coworkers for symptoms, such as dizziness, eye or throat irritation, and skin rashes, that might indicate exposure to a hazardous material or chemical. If these or other symptoms appear, report them to your supervisor immediately. Lastly, always use gloves, aprons, masks, or other PPE whenever called for on a label or MSDS. Now, look at the study questions. In this section, we will discuss Module 3B, which is about OSHA 1926 Subpart D, Health Hazards in Construction. This section caters to individuals employed in the construction industry, who come in contact with health hazards and chemicals while performing their duties. This section emphasizes the subjects covered in OSHA 29 CFR 1926 Subpart D. Let's memorize essential key terms. Container, any bag, barrel, bottle, box, can, cylinder, drum, reaction vessel, storage tank that contains a hazardous chemical. Explosive, a chemical that causes a sudden, almost instantaneous release of pressure, gas, and heat when subjected to sudden shock, pressure, or high temperature. Physical hazard, a chemical for which there is scientifically valid evidence that it is a combustible liquid, a compressed gas, explosive, flammable, an organic peroxide, an oxidizer, pyrophoric, unstable, reactive, or water reactive. Trade secret, any confidential formula, pattern, process, device, information, or compilation of information that is used in an employer's business and allows the employer to obtain an advantage over competitors who do not know or use it. Let's start the lesson about hazardous materials. The key points are Employee exposure to silica dust, breathable quartz, must not exceed 0.1 microgram slash cubic meter averaged over an 8-hour work shift. Silicosis can disable a person in many ways, making breathing difficult and painful. Silicosis may also cause death or turn into lung cancer. Symptoms usually associated with silicosis include loss of appetite, fevers, and body weight loss. Exposure by inhaling loose, asbestos fibers can cause disabling or fatal diseases such as gastrointestinal cancer, cancers of the lung, or lung cavity lining, and severe lung impairment asbestosis. The symptoms of these diseases generally do not appear for 20 or more years after initial exposure. Short-term exposure must also be limited to not more than one fiber per cubic meter, averaged over 30 minutes, Rotation of employees to achieve compliance with either permissible exposure limit PEL, is prohibited. Even workers' families and friends can be at risk, as asbestos can often be carried on clothing. It is important to note that workers are only sometimes told they are working around asbestos, and even single exposures to very low doses of fibers can result in harm. No employee may be exposed to MDA above the permissible exposure limit PEL, of 10 parts per billion PPB, as an 8-hour time-weighted average TWA, or above a short-term exposure limit STL, of 100 PPB over a 15-minute sampling period. Decontamination areas must also be established outside of but as near as practical to the regulated area for workers, materials, and equipment contaminated with MDA. The decontamination area must include equipment storage, wash, and clean change areas. Lastly, lead is most commonly taken into the body by inhalation. When workers breathe in lead as dust, fume, or mist, their lungs and upper respiratory tract absorb the lead into the body. They can also absorb lead through the digestive system if it enters the mouth and is ingested. Now look at the study questions. 
If you have any questions, write them in the comment section. We will resume with Module 4 in the next video. Subscribe now and press the bell icon for updates, until then, stay safe.